What's shaking, Chewy Nation? Chewbacca Lemme here back with another Madden 19 Ultimate Team video. Today, we're talking about why Cam Newton is the very best quarterback in MUT. We got plenty of highlights for you today. And I'm just showing off the card compared to Watson. You can tell very similar cards uh, for sure. They're throwing the pressure in Cam, uh, Cam's favor, but he also has the carrying edge. He has a stiff arm. He can truck. He can spin. He can juke. Watson really can't do anything but juke, and juke's not really that good, especially with your quarterback. You don't want to be juke and taking hit sticks, except if you're Cam Newton. If, it is, if it's a designed run, you really don't have to worry. He's big. He just bounces off of hit sticks, and he has pre pretty good carrying for a quarterback, who has really good carrying for a quarterback. So when you do take hit sticks, as long as it's a designed run, not when you're scrambling. If you scramble and you take a hit, you're probably going to fumble. But if it's a designed run... You're going to probably, you're, most likely you're not going to fumble. I think I fumbled one time the entire week in league. And I ran with a lot, I ran a lot with, with Cam. You see him miss a high point there, which I did not need to throw. Uh, so that was unfortunate. But then he makes up for it later on uh, with the high point. So a, little, a lot harder to throw. I feel like all quarterbacks miss those, though. I don't think that's unique to Cam. So I think that's, I don't think there's anything wrong with, I, I wish he didn't miss that. Because you see an absolute, I don't even know, I don't think that was a great throw. But an absolutely wonderful catch by Chad Johnson. Now there's going to be some pushback in the comments I feel about why Vic or Lamar are better and I think you could definitely make the case. I'm not going to say that it's easy just for everybody that Cam's the best quarterback but when you start looking at Lamar the nice thing about him uh, which I was thinking about making a video separately on him just using him because he's got 99 speed stock basically. Sprinter which is so cheap now <laughs> and then you got Sprinter and then you also have John Madden which most people have at this point with that speed. So he gets 99 speed. You just don't get the two red Kims, but he's not as tall as Cam, so you may not want Gunslinger anyway. Uh, as you see, I missed my read to A, but Calvin just doesn't care. Still a touchdown. 6'5", really, to really tough to lurk those passes when you throw it up to a 6'5 receiver. But uh, yeah, Cam, uh, Cam is 6'5", uh, which he, he has on those likes of, uh, you know, uh, Vic and Watson and most quarterbacks he's he's got the edge height so you can put gunslinger on him and I'm pretty sure I didn't hit my lineman at all this entire weekend league and I see sometimes I see people be like I've never hit my lineman with Vic or anything I feel like I hit my lineman all the time with Watson all the time I see it with Vic and uh, Newton I didn't have any problems with that so that was nice to have I'm not saying it won't happen uh, of course those things are going to happen but for me having gunslinger didn't really seem like it hurt me at all, like it does sometimes with Vic or Watson. So I really like that at 6'5". So you got the 6'5 frame. You got the ability when you take hits, you're, you're a good chance you're not going to fumble. If it's, a, if it's a design run, if it's not a design run, obviously don't take hits. But you can also spin just like Vic. You can juke. You can truck. Uh, so if you're running design runs, which I do a lot, I love my QB draw. Kansas City Chiefs playbook, if you've ever heard of it, it's pretty good. It is fun. The QB draw is so much fun. If you're not doing it, you're missing out. I thought this was a run on this play right here, and I, I was ready to run it. It worked out. I still got 15 yards. But when they're crashing up, when you see their D-line like moving up, which I don't know if we'll see it here. Do you see how the defense tackle is trying to loop? When you see that, as you see another high point, I got that from Scumbag TT23 throne, throwing that high point. It's just a blind read, but as long as it's not a deep quarter or anything – just throw it up. If it's a deep half, you're going to get position, and you should have a good chance of making that play. So a lot of just, you know, dots, throwing them there. Uh, a lot of high points, of course, this weekend league, and, and obviously high points are very, very good in Madden right now, uh, which unfortunately I don't know why they didn't. I know I don't expect another patch the rest of the year, but I really don't understand why they put it in. They don't have it, like, they haven't made any adjustments to, to ags. Like, they're so, so strong right now. Red zone offenses for everybody. It seems like it's just high point uh, because it's it's pretty consistent. It's a pretty safe throw, and so you can make that throw and not feel like you're going to throw a pick. Most likely, it's either going to be incomplete or a catch, and a lot of times it is a catch. So high point on first, second, and third down, and then if not, you either you go four and fourth or you decide to kick your field goal. But here we are with Cam. This is the one thing I want to show a, a clip, especially this right here, when people would argue for Lamar or Vic. So you see that. That's a touchdown probably with Vic or Lamar, not a touchdown with Cam Newton. But guess what? Cam, we're going to do it again. And we're going to have a good stick there. Go ahead and get that touchdown right there. So, I look, you know, some people might even call the QB draw a cheese. One, I was running this before anybody else, so it's my own offense. So let's just start putting it out there. Nobody else was running this. Look at that stick. And he's off to the races, but again, 
Again, if that's Vic or if that's Lamar, we might be gone. But it is nice not to have to worry about hit sticks or really anything when you run with a QB draw. Because you are a runner, he's is only checking his carrying stat, which is pretty good compared to other quarterbacks and him being so big. So when guys go for hit sticks, sometimes they just bounce right off. And the nice thing is people will go for hit sticks and then and then you can just run around them, which is what I did with Watson. Even though Watson doesn't have moves, you can just run around their hit sticks because people just wanted to hit your quarterback so bad, even though you're, it's a designed run. So the odds of fumbling are so not even that high, uh, but you know people want to hit stick him instead of just going for the tackle, uh, which is great. It works to your advantage. That's why I think QB draw is so strong. One of the reasons it's so strong. I just want to show me. This was the last play of the game. Bad defense, maybe. I don't know. Uh, get agged to lose the game. <laughs> it doesn't have anything to do with Cam, but what a way to lose. Uh, that's that's the game, as you see. I mean, but I, I can't. It wasn't a bad read. It was fine. It was one guy. It was Derwin James, 6'3". I thought, you know, I thought it would have been... I thought Derwin could make that play. I knew... I kind of knew what he was going to do, but I didn't put a quarter. So... Uh, that was that was kind of my own fault, really. I kind of I look back and I'm like, man, that was what really wasn't good. D, if you if you know what Madden's about in Madden, you know this this year right here, perfect handoff by Cam. Why am I showing this? He can also hand the ball off. You know, he, he's good at that. Uh, but a lot of high points, and you just gotta you gotta accept it, and you have to play D, especially the last play of the game. I have to know a uh, perfect throw under pressure there. That's nice to see. I have to know what he's going to go to there and play as good defense as possible. And looking back, I realized that was not the best D as possible. Perfect dot there. A lot of just uh, streaks, um, making sure a lot of, you know, I, it looks like I'm always running the same plays, but usually you, you set it up. So uh, you, I mean, a lot of it's just you get people downfield, you know, you might have a crosser and then you have your playmaker. I mean, it really doesn't matter which play you call it. They kind of all, you know, you really, that's kind of what Madden 19 is. Even if you run a bunch of different plays, a lot of times you'll have a, a route that goes downfield, a streak or a fade or something. You have a crosser, uh, you know, using a deep specialist or whatever you may use to, as you see, he's just trying to get that, and Cam just bouncing off. He's trying to get that fumble so bad. That's that's basically what it is, you know. It's, it's, it is maybe not the best, unfortunately, bad stick by me. Unfortunately, it's not the best Madden we've seen. That is kind of where Madden's at right now. So you just got to kind of accept it, I guess, and embrace it. Uh, we thought about high-pointing that. We did not. We just, since we saw him use during it, again, he felt like his defense wasn't prepared for the high point. So I'll go ahead and just playmaker upfield. Super easy. Super easy read. Uh, and then he throws an absolutely just terrible throw. Thankful Colonel Lynch, uh, which we actually have. We play him again after this game. But we go ahead and lurk, not lurk him, but we run it back. And Derwin James has just enough speed. His power-up will be nice. That plus one speed would be huge uh, to go ahead and get that touchdown and winning that game. Uh, uh, Colonel Lynch ended up going 19-6, and six, uh, which, uh, spoilers, uh, this isn't really about wins and losses in this video, but this is his last game of Weekend League, and he was at 18. So I guess you know how, I'm gonna, how this game's going to go. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, really, really good games uh, to Mr. Colonel Lynch. Uh, unfortunately, you know, I'm able uh, to to get the win on both games. All I, of my four losses, the three of them, I beat the guy on the other game, so we went one and one. And then the other one was that high point you guys seen. So the four losses were a little rough. Uh, this one not as much. Um, he was a good player. Don't mind losing to uh, players. I think I was shocked that he only went 19 and six. I think he had a much better week last week. Uh, but yeah, you see Cam again. QB draw. Not worried about taking a hit. He's so much bigger than everybody else. Just don't even worry. Uh, just just plow right ahead, and you can spin. You can juke. I I haven't. I didn't really spin much, which you notice. Dot. You notice I didn't really spin much with Cam because I'm not used to it. I'm not used to being able to spin. Watson can't spin. I'm not used to trucking or anything like that or stiff arming. Like he has it all. Uh, I missed my read to my running back. Try to high point. You see, Cam does miss a few of those, but I'm pretty sure that's just a dice roll. I, every quarterback, even when I had Drew Brees, he had like 90. Drew Brees had 99 everything. And he missed high points. Uh, so here we are, fourth and four. I try to play maker across, and I take a hit stick. Wouldn't have got the first down anyway. And that will be the game, unfortunately. A loss to Colonel Lynch to get him in the top 100. You know what? It's all right. Uh, it probably won't affect us. It could affect us. We'll see. I'm at, Like I said, I'm 17 and four, so an absolutely dot. No, not really. that was a terrible throw. But I felt like, honestly, you high point. That's the, It's so bad. I, I know it's just the way it is right now, but you just high point. And you're, it's a safe throw. I mean, it could bounce up, sure. It may end up doing that. Uh, but a lot of times it's it's going to be caught or it's going to be incomplete. It's it's way more likely to be caught than to be intercepted. 
and it's it pains me to say that because I know it's not skillful, but that's that's the game we're playing. So, and if you have receivers like Calvin, if you have receivers like DeAndre, if you have receivers like Andre Reed and Moss and uh, uh, Chad Johnson, like there, you know, there's so many good ones too. <laughs> so we go ahead. We're up 24-9 against this guy. This guy was on aggressive. I'm pretty sure everything uh, besides, as you see, the transfer. Uh, Transfiguration is happening right now. Look at my webcam. The sun's coming in. This was my last game of this stream. Eight rushes, 104 yards. I go down. I didn't want to. I didn't want to, you know, pour any salt on the wounds to get the win. And that took us to 17 and four uh, with Cam Newton. What do you guys think of this uh, card? I think personally, again, I know he's slow. Minus six speed is a lot. So if you're one that uh, likes to move around a lot and be able to outspeed, you know, LTs and stuff like that, which uh, you know, is nice, uh, or being able to outrun Peppers as a spy. You know, there's things that are really nice you get with Vic and Lamar. Or if you're running QB draw and you just want to be able to take it to the house as opposed to, you know, a couple of those plays where I could have been gone and said I end up getting caught. Maybe I would have been gone. It was close. But I think the ability to uh, run over people, the ability to not worry about taking hits, and, of course, the ability to have 93 speed at 6'5", gunslinger conductor, really can get better in my opinion, as a as a hybrid sort of quarterback, don't need to don't need to be mobile, but when you need it, like for me, QB draw or you know something like that, it is fun for sure to use somebody like Cam Newton. That's my opinion, of course. I'm sure you guys will let me know your opinion down below. Definitely let me know your opinion. What you guys think? Is it Vic? Is it Lamar? In my opinion, I think Cam Newton is the best quarterback in my and unfortunately, really overshadows someone like Deshaun Watson who has the same speed but just doesn't, can't really do anything else that Watson can, really can't do. I mean, Watson can't do anything really that Cam can do. So that's unfortunate. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy it. That's all I got. Chewbacca Lemma, out.